I'm going to give it to Benjamin's Armadillo. Life is full of opportunities. I can go anywhere. I can do anything. Now what opportunities do I have? Time for Netflix. Time to eat. Time for Netflix. Time to sleep. Oftentimes when a storm hits, you feel like you are stuck with this new reality. Now remember we're defining storm as a situation as a situation that you didn't choose to be in. Right? So in a in a real rainstorm, you are stuck indoors because it's raining and thundering outside. So you're stuck inside. But in a real life storm, maybe an example would be you're stuck in a new school with no friends because your parents decided to move. Or you're stuck with these raggedy trainers because your dad lost his job and there's no money, he says. So you feel like you're stuck with your new reality. Or in the case of Apostle Paul, in the Bible story we're going to look at today, he was stuck in a boat in the middle of a storm because Jesus told him to get on that boat. So it wasn't his choice to be stuck. But here he was stuck. So what do you do? Because remember, you have a choice on how you're going to respond. You didn't choose to be in the storm, but you now have a choice on how you're going to respond. And the response we're going to look at today is you can respond to remain feeling stuck or you can look for new opportunities. So in our story today, it's in Matthew 14 and it starts with, I love this, it starts with immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side. It's such an interesting word choice there. It says, immediately Jesus made his disciples. So they didn't have a choice. They were like, oh, okay, we're going on a boat, I suppose, because Jesus told us to. And then they get on this boat and they're going out to sea and this storm hits, right? They didn't choose to be in the middle of a storm, but this storm hits. And it's really interesting to see Peter's response. So Peter is one of the disciples. They're on this boat, the sea, the waves are raging, and all of a sudden, right before dawn, it says, they see this figure walking towards them 
on the water. And they call out and they're like, oh my goodness, it's a ghost. But as the figure comes closer, they've realized that it looks kind of like Jesus. And suddenly the figure says, don't worry, it's I, it's Jesus. Now, Peter says something really interesting here. He says, Lord, if it's you, would you call me to come out to you? And Jesus says, yeah, come on. It's me. Come out to me. Now, how many, how many of the apostles, how many of the disciples asked that question? Does it say all 12, 12 of them said, call me to come out to you? No, it's, it's one. Only Peter saw an opportunity and took it. Everyone else remained stuck in the boat, but Peter chose an opportunity. So in the middle of a storm, there was an opportunity. And then you have such a cool story of Jesus getting, or um, Peter getting out of the boat and walking on water. Yes, he began to stink, sink a little later because he got afraid, but that's not the point. He saw an opportunity and he took it. Every storm that you go through is an invitation from the Lord to see a new opportunity. So what are the opportunities in your life right now, right? You're, you're literally stuck at home, but have you stopped and asked God, what opportunities are there to love my family? What opportunities are there in my life right now to seek God out more? I bet if you ask, there's going to be opportunities for you during this time at home. And you're going to see God do something really cool that if you had just stayed in the mindset of feeling stuck, then you wouldn't have seen those opportunities. So you always have a choice to respond, to remain stuck, or to look for opportunities. Guys, I got my head stuck in a couch. I was like doing flips on the couch and then... I just got stuck. <sighs> My situation's looking very dire from over here. And I just feel stuck. Guys, I got my head stuck in a couch. And then I think... I'll take the opportunity to um, practice my yoga poses. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, I got unstuck. So how are you going to respond to life storms? Whether it's this storm or the storms in your future that you probably will have, how are you going to respond? Are you going to be stuck and feel stuck in the storm? Or are you going to look for opportunities? I encourage you to take a moment to pray and ask God to give you grace to respond well to those opportunities. And um, besides that, that's it. That's the lesson for today. And I hope you enjoyed the montage, the videos. I loved seeing the um, animals, the toilet paper animals, and also the leaf bites. Those were great. So keep those coming, the videos and the pictures, and I will see you next week. Bye!